Hey guys, so today I uh, am coming to you with, we've got quite a bit of flooding in the area and uh, I've got an egress window that's uh, filling up with water. So I'm gonna install a sump pump. I couldn't really find a whole lot on this. So what I'm gonna do is put a sump pump pit in the egress window and then uh, the four or five times a year we get a storm big enough to fill this up, it's not gonna get close and enough to making me nervous that it's going to flood the basement so uh let me flip the camera around here and i'll show you the situation and then uh, show you how we're going to correct it so as you see here we've got quite a bit of standing water in the basement uh in the window well here so what i plan to do is put a uh sump pump pit right there and uh temporarily i'm just going to run a line up and discharge it over the side uh, normally it does have a cover but i've just got it taken off to show you so I'll put a pit in here with a sump pump and then in the future, probably this summer or spring when it dries out a little bit, um, I'll permanently uh, run a line and trench it out through the yard here, but uh, underground. But for today, I'm just going to run a, a temporary flexible line to get this out of here. Um, I'll hop down in there and show you how close we are, but it's probably only about an inch from coming through and it's supposed to rain the rest of the day. So as you see here, we're already covering the bottom of the trim. And if this gives you a reference, my boots, the tops of them are almost covered. So quite a bit of water. And uh, there was a drain in here, but it is no longer working. So uh, at least to its full potential. So um, as you see, I mean, it's full of water. So well, let me get you set up here and we'll get going. All right, so what I did here is I've got um, a sump pump pit. It came as a sealed unit. Um, I took a 3H drill bit and drilled a bunch of holes all over it. And then uh, what that'll have to do is allow the water to seep in from the ground around it. Um, figured 3 8 was small enough that water can come in, but I won't have any issues with rocks or anything falling through. And then uh, what I'll do is dig a hole big enough that this sits down inside this corner here and I'll dig it deep enough that I have a lid for it as well that'll go on it and the lid um, I can cover with rocks so you won't even know it's in here other than the uh, discharge tube. So I'm just trying to pump the water out actually right now so I can just see what I'm doing to dig. So kind of multi-purpose here. So, 
quite a bit of water. <laughs> but at least now I can see what I'm trying to dig. It's getting pretty messy. I'm gonna go ahead and pump this out again. I'm just using a normal sump pump. I'm just using a normal sump pump and I've got the foot switch uh, bypassed. It definitely makes a difference though. All right guys, so we're almost down to the proper depth. I'm gonna try and pull some of this out and then set the pit and uh, we'll be good to go. So what I plan on doing is 
filling in as much as possible with this existing gravel that's here and then uh, put a lid on it and cover that. And what I'm gonna do is just run the gravel right up to the edge of this window. And that way I know that in the future, the water should never get this high again. Um, it, when I first woke up this morning, it was at the bottom of this trim. And after I went to the store to get all this, it had actually risen up above that trim. So that's a little close for comfort. All right. So I ended up digging a couple more inches out and I took a bunch of that gravel that was on the sides there and I shoveled it in where the uh, dirt was. So basically I've got a bed of gravel on the underside and then both sides will be filled with gravel as well. Um, I'm standing on it right now, just kind of getting it nice and secure. And then next I'll fill in all this with uh, this gravel that I pulled out. So it's got a nice gravel barrier all the way around. And I'm just gonna... to be like me and shovel uh shovel rocks in your brand new pit you're just gonna have to get them out if you do that so save yourself a little time later all right so i cleaned all the rocks out of there and uh basically i've got my submersible pump in here um, so this is a float um, switch so as it goes up it activates when it goes down it shuts it off um, try and make sure that's not obstructed um, I do have a check valve on the bottom of this tube for now but like I said in the spring when it warms up it's a lot less muddy I'm gonna make a more permanent line and exit there into the yard and then drain out into the yard this is only temporary just to get everything up and running but uh do have a check valve in there to try and keep as much out of there as possible and uh i've got a lid for it too i'll get all that assembled and show you but um this should definitely make things go a lot smoother in the future so let me get the last couple things buttoned up here and i'll show you kind of how we're going to leave it for today all right so this is kind of what i made up um this is the only lid that my store had and Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. So I uh, cut a little hole. This is so the rock can sit on top of it and won't uh, fall through. And I've got the check valve there. And so what we'll do is I will, let me set you up here. All right. obviously you'll see the hose but like I said the least you can see the more visually appealing it is all right so I got the screws in the back of my truck I will go grab those and then this should be ready to get buried well there she is guys so from this point uh yeah not much left to do today this will keep me out of the keep me sane for the rest of the day and the next nice day i have i'll dig a trench and uh wire this up all or uh, not wire <laughs> get this drain rigged up permanently and then that way uh I'll never have to touch it again thanks for watching again today guys you have a great day Hey guys, so I actually went to work for a little bit and just got home. It looks like the pump has been running throughout the day, which is awesome, but uh, there is something I wanna change to it. So I do have a check valve in place 
and I was thinking tonight it's supposed to get below freezing. I don't want this hose to be filled with water overnight. But when I was putting this in, I drilled holes at the bottom. So on a normal, <laughs> like in the summer or spring, if we had a, a big storm, it allows water to come up through the bottom of this sump and then it can pump it out. But then when, you know, water levels recede, it can drain out of this. So this pump, this pit will sit completely empty most of the time. Um, and I don't want this to hold water as well. So I'm gonna take that check valve out. And this probably is, I don't know, five, six feet below the surface. So it's it's pretty far down there. And uh, I don't really anticipate that having a huge issue with this freezing should there um, ever be temperature swings like we're getting today. But um, the goal, like I also said, is to eliminate that possibility altogether. So 